Okay guys, welcome back. All right, this is part two of that uh, motorcycle sign we were working on last week. So uh, we've got all of the detail carving done, the inset letters done, so we're gonna get this thing knocked out. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, Dad, if you can pan down, uh, we're gonna look at the at what we've got here, and you can see that uh, I've taken all the paper off, so it's, uh, and then, you know, there's a little bit of glue residue, but not much, it's not gonna affect me much. So now what I wanna do, I really want that thing to kinda stand out, so I'm gonna make a deep line all the way around the, the, pro, uh, the profile, around the outside, which will help it, uh, help it stand out. So I'm gonna go deeper, probably gonna go, uh, I don't know, somewhere around, I don't know, quarter inch or so, something like that. And then we're just gonna go all the way around and just put a heavy line. So, um, you with me, Dad? I'm with you, Sean. All right, here we go. just give it a nice little distinct look and and stand out a little bit more all the way around now uh, the one the other thing I was going to do is on the back you know looking at my uh, at my sketch here the you know the full-size one that I'm using as a reference 
there were um, there were holes in this disc brake back here so I need to yeah I need to put some dots in here yeah well, I'm just gonna put a few little dots in there guys so what we're going to do now um, we're going to shut off the camera and then um, we'll go on to the next step I'll get these corners rounded uh, like I normally do with my disc and then uh, we'll put a chamfer on this thing get it sprayed and sand it off and see what she looks like so stay with us we'll be back in just a uh, just a minute thanks all right we are back so uh, one thing I forgot to do on the last scene, guys, I, I forgot, um, you, we just did the heavy line around here with the profile bit, but what I want to do now is I want to just make it stand out that much more. I'm going to use our uh, our regular 90 degree V groove. I don't know if you can get that, Dad. Sure, I can get it. Our 90 degree V groove, uh, one that we use for the background around outside letters. And I'm just going to go around that profile one more time and make it nice heavy line you on reach it. in there and turn that bit yeah oops sorry yeah that's good yeah that way they can see it yeah. uh, cutting fluids on it yeah that's our 90 degree v groove that we uh, that we standardly use for our background all right so i've already got it set uh yeah looks pretty good i'm going to just go ahead and fire it up going to be able to get a pretty good shot of that dad yeah I, I put the bigger uh the base with the bigger hole on it in there so all right, here we go.
we go. A couple little high spots we'll just take out. Now you'll notice I did, I don't know if you're with me dad, but you notice I did this part right here guys because I see that as kind of a see-through spot. This is a line that, a brake line that goes down to the, I guess it's a brake line that goes down there. But I saw that as kind of a see-through spot when I was looking at the picture. So that's the only internal really cut that I did. Uh, other than this one up here right in uh, behind the mirror. Uh, but anyway, all right, so that's that. So now I'm going to go ahead, we'll shut the camera off. I'm going to change bits, and we'll put the edge on here, and then we'll get it sprayed, and we'll uh, see how she turns out. We'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I've got the... Um, I've got the bit changed and I put in the 45 degree or 45 degree chamfer bit with the bearing in it. So just our standard uh, chamfer slash scalloping bit. Got that down? Yep. I know I'm kind of moving around there. No, that's all right. I got so it. I set it uh, fairly deep. So I want to, um, I've just got it set on the pads. I want to make sure I don't hit the table. So I've got it kind of built up a little bit with my rubber pads underneath. So I'm just going to do the three sides and then flip it around. pretty much it now we'll uh i'm going to brush this out a little bit more um you want to tip that up now just like it is let me zoom in on it so they can get a better picture of uh, sure i don't think i've got too many high spots in there it all looks like it's down below the surface pretty well yeah okay that, that way it just gives them a yeah a little bit better look at the detail all right so now i'm going to brush this a little bit more guys and then we're going to turn the camera off and we'll come right back on and and get this thing sprayed and then we'll uh let it sit for a few minutes sand it off see how it looks so we'll be right back okay guys so now i'm going to go ahead and spray it uh, I'm going to use ink this time, but you guys know I use that uh, Rust-Oleum too, but I just, I kind of ran out of that stuff. Last couple times I've gone to Walmart, they've been out of it, so I'm using ink, uh, but you could be using that uh, Rust-Oleum primer just as well. And this is not how I normally do this, but because we're in the studio here, um, I'm just going to do it this way. So we're going to go ahead and get this thing sprayed. And then we're going to give it some time to dry. Then we'll come back on and sand it off, see how it looks. So I'm going to spray the edge all the way around, make sure I get that chamfer, that nice chamfer. Again, nice short spurts, guys. You don't want to spray this thing too heavy. It does have sanding sealer on it, but this pine can it can uh, certain grains can kind of bleed on you if you're not careful it it greatly diminishes it when you use the sanding sealer on like I do but I, do, I just don't want to overdo it so especially on these little tiny lines I don't want to have to sand off any more than I absolutely have to because I don't want to sand so deep that I'm going to sand any of that detail out. So I'm just now going to just go back and hit just a few of those spots. And that will do it. That's pretty good. All right. So we're going to let that sit. Clear the nozzle. We're going to let that sit for a little while. We'll come back and sand it. See what she looks like. Kind of. 
Okay guys, we're back. So, it's all, uh, it's all dry, uh, ready to go, so I'm going to turn it over and we're going to sand this thing off and see how she comes out. Start with my, uh, my 40 grit first, 40 or 50 grit. explain why you did mostly cross grain yeah standing on that I covered that actually on a coffee and questions just the other day but I'll go over it again the reason I sand cross grain guys on the back is because it takes it off much faster uh, it's less likely to load up the belt um, and I like a cross grain sand on the back because on the front I'll sand with the grain and it just gives much more of a contrast to a nice finish uh, as compared to a, um, a rough sand. Let me blow this off. That's a little, little compact vacuum you're using for blowing the saw. Yeah, just a little, uh, little shock vac. Little shock vac set up for blowing. Works out real well, actually. So yeah, uh, on the back, I always sand cross grain. Again, it's much faster. It comes off much faster. Doesn't need to be sanded with the grain. And um, and I like the contrast of a real nice finish on the front and uh, kind of a rough finish on the back. So now we'll go uh, the same belt, but we're going to go just with the grain on the front. Take off about uh, 80 to 90 percent with this. Then we'll finish it up with uh, 80 grit.
what she looks like. Turn it around. Looks like I got a little bit more sanding to do right in this area. I'm going to touch that just a little bit, Dad. Sorry to mess you up there. And wipe the sweat off before I drip on the sign. That's a perfect example. Did you watch that, Dad? Yeah. Did you get that on film? Yeah. That's a perfect example, guys, of why I like the little sanders. Because you saw that little area was the only place that I really wanted to take more ink off. I didn't want to do the whole thing. Now, I know a lot of guys use planers and, you know, uh, uh, big, uh, you know, time saver sanders and, and other ways. Um, but you, if you notice this board, it's got a little bit of a cup to it which you guys may have noticed, you may not have. But if I had run this through a planer, then what would have happened is it would have planed this center part off first, and I would have lost that detail in trying to get the, the ink off of the lower parts of the board. Whereas this sander, I can pinpoint exactly where I, I need to take more or less. <laughs> It looks like there's a little spot right there as well, and there. So I'll hit those too. And I can just pinpoint exactly where I want that to go. clear on it right now. I've got the can of, of clear out here. I'll put a clear on it. You nah, said clear, you want to show that can? Yeah, this is just uh, our standard uh, Krylon Crystal Clear that we use. I use the gloss because I like the, the shiny that it builds up. Um, but you know, some people like the satin or the flat or the semi gloss, but so that's all your preference. Okay, I kind of shook it up just a little while ago, so it should be ready to go. Normally, you shake it for about a minute, yeah, yeah, 30 to 60 seconds. So, this is the one, uh, or one of the ones that the customer she wanted uh, a really uh, deep contrast between the black and the blonde on the on the pine. So, this particular one, I didn't put the cedar um, the cedar stain on. I just wanted to leave it natural pine. So, I'll probably be able to get. Oh, at least three or four coats on today. It's the middle of the afternoon right now, and uh, I'll probably, this will probably, I'm gonna set it out in the sun. This will probably be dry uh, to the touch in about 15 minutes. I'll put another coat on, and within two or three hours, I can get uh, three or four coats on this thing. I'm pretty happy with that. I can live with that. Yeah. Okay, that's it, guys. So, um, again, don't forget to subscribe to our, 
our channel will uh, that uh, the coffee and questions uh, every day. Remember, uh, five days a week, Monday through Thursday and Saturday. Um, we've got the new LTS coming up on September 12th. There'll be some stuff on your screen, so you'll see it. There's our channel. Um, we sure would appreciate it if you'd go out and, and share our videos and, and pass the word. We can always use more people uh, going to our YouTube channel. So um, hope you enjoyed this. Hope you got something out of it. You learned something because that's our goal is just try and give you guys as much quality content and, and real life stuff that you guys can use. So hope this helped and uh, we'll see you on the next one and we'll see you uh, tomorrow for Coffee and Questions. Have a great weekend, everybody. Uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.